Yo, what's up everybody? It's King Wolf. Welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're going to go back into the Saints playbook because after using the Steelers playbook, it woke me up to one of the plays that I was using. Now, this was a glitch play back when Madden 20 dropped, but then they patched the cover three zones. But now this play is really good against other defenses and we're going to go over that today but before we get into it man make sure you drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel for more content become a member of the wolf pack we're going to be doing the ps4 tournament next so if you want in on that man become a member the link is in the description be live streaming the whole thing all that kind of stuff i kind of have fun on the last one now before we get into today's video man so far i want to know from you guys in the comments right now what is your take on the game what is your take on the run game especially? Do you feel like you have enough defense to stop it? Or is the armbar ability and like jukebox, is it making the run still too OP? Because from what I see is, even if you have good run defense, the armbar, that one ability and one-on-one -on -one is pretty much the determining factor whether you're gonna get a TD or not. Because it happens for me, it actually happened in the live stream in the tournament I was watching. The ability. Is the ability what is what ruining the game? Or do you feel like there's enough defense for people to, and I quote, get good? You know what I'm saying? Let me know in the comments below. And let's go ahead and get into today's video. We're going to be back in the Saints playbook. Now, the name of the formation is going to be the double Y flex off week. And do I want to make any substitutions in here? I got Michael Thomas. I guess I could put, flip it over with uh, again, but. Nah, we're, we're good, okay? You can put a faster tight end or whoever you want in this position where Jared Cook is, but for the sake of this video and what we're gonna go over today, we're, we're gonna leave it alone. Now, the name of the play is the PA read. Now, previously, against cover three defense, random cover three, they're gonna give me three deep. Oh, they're actually not gonna give three deep. Previously, what would happen with this defense is the deep blue would glitch out. Let me show you guys real quick. That deep blue would glitch out, and then you could just throw this right over the top. Now, you can still throw this against cover three if the timing is right. And what do I mean by that? Let me show you what I mean. First off, I got to make sure this guy's double team. If they double team, I don't think that. Yeah, see, in play action, you got to be careful with the double teams and what you're calling because right there, right there, what happened is not good. I don't know if double teaming actually works because I'm double teaming in play action. This is something that I'm trying to figure out. I'm still trying to figure out. Uh, but what you can do is you can wait, give it a little bit of time and then throw this over the top. Now that was right there was, it looked a little, looked a little iffy, you know what I'm saying? But you can still run stock against cover three and wait a little bit and try to just throw this over the top, over the right side, like right there. Probably with a faster wide receiver and that's gonna be a one play TD. Now you're gonna have to lab this version of beating cover three if you want the one play TD because you're gonna have to get the timing down. Now this right here is actually three deep. Let me get out of it really quick. And then again, three deep. I don't know why they keep doing this, bro. Let me just get out of three deep. Just run the ball in the inside zone. So right here, you have to get the timing down. Slide, what I've noticed about this play, like even play action in general, slide protecting don't work. I'm gonna slide protect right. Double teaming don't work. So it's hit or miss, like right here. And then you just wait for the timing and then just try to throw this over the top. And that's a one play TD. Now. What you also can do is you could throw this pass earlier in cover three. It's a lot more dependable if you do it this way as well. Watch this. All I'm going to do is I'm going to put A on an end route like this, okay? And then I just throw this over the top really quick and possession catch that. Now, in cover three where they're making adjustments and there's no seam or there's no uh, uh, matching assignments, you know how people like to do that, then the Y route is even more open. So all you want to do is you just want to put A on an end route. If you want to try to throw this faster or you could just run it stock. Sometimes I just run it stock. I don't even put the A, put A on the end row. I just run it. I snap the ball, right? Boom. And then I just throw it really quick, okay? And it just works every single time against cover three. Now, it does, if they move that middle blue down into the box, and it's a little bit more trickier, but now then you can just move to the, the, the other variation where you actually wait for him to clear that deep blue because then that cover three beater will get open a little bit easier. So you watch what they're doing with their middle blue. Um, right here, as you can see, just consistently. Boom. Just just easy completions with this play. However, you can also wait for this play to get open down the field. Now, remember, it's all about O-line, pass protection, slide protecting, all that. Wait till he clears that guy. Boost by holding the right trigger and then come over and catch the pass for the one play TD. Now, another play 
Another defense that this play is really good on, this is what actually brought me back to it, was when I labbed the Steelers playbook, okay? And they have the Steeler dig on there out of the gun trio. I was like, you know what, man? If that play can be covered four quarters, then this play should be able to be covered four quarters. So I came over here and I came over here to, let's just pick a cover four quarters like it. Cover four quarters and cover four palms is what I mean. Now, if I run the play stock, I can try to beat this guy over the top, right? But that's not good enough. I, I won, but that's that's iffy. Let's 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 run a couple times, see if we can consistently get that. Now we have Thomas there. He's already an X Factor. So that could be a big a game thing, you know what I mean? But let's say I want to get this guy more open, wide open, to where there's really nobody around him. What can I do to make sure that happens? So as you see, I'm just running a stock. Just throwing this over the top, consistently get it, but he's an X Factor. Let me throw a pick. Let me try to throw a pick real quick, bro, so, so we can get him out of X Factor real quick. Hold on. Uh, right here. Pick it. Nope. Still a good cat. Still a good pass. All right. Well, it, it doesn't matter. Okay. He's probably going to get open more than not because he's an X Factor and he's going to win those battles. Okay. So let's see if it goes away if I consistently get sacked. So how do we get this guy even more open? And that's what I was laughing. I was like, man, how do I get this more open? Just like the Gun Trio Week version, the Steeler Dig. You see right here, we're still getting open over the top. This guy's just going to stay in x -Rack. So how do we do that? It is simple. Just follow my lead. What you're going to do is you're going to take X and put him on a streak, okay? Motion him in. Once he gets to Thomas on the inside, you snap the ball. And that's it. Check this out. Now he's gone by himself. You see what I'm saying? And this is going to be just like the Steeler Diggs play. So if someone comes out cover four quarters and cover four palms consistently, you can one play TD them with this play right here by just putting X on a streak motioning him in boom Y will take off the matching assignments get uh confused and they don't know what to do and that's an easy one play td so you see the separation we're getting with this play by making that simple adjustment here we go again check this out we're gonna bring him in once he gets to the inside snap the ball and it will try palms right over the top bro easy one play td against cover four quarters man Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to try this against cover four palms and see if we can get the same effect because people do run cover four palms. I rarely see it. I see more cover four quarters than I do palms, but it is out there, and we do want to see if we can beat that. So PA read, and then we'll do cover. Let's get into like nickel or something. Dime normal. Cover four palms, dime, dime normal. So right here, X on a streak. Motion him in. Snap the ball. We should get the same matching principles. Yeah, we do. And it's the same exact thing with palms as it is with quarters. Now, cover four drop, it's not going to work like that. It doesn't work that way. You're going to need to run a post shot play, and that is in the Y off trio week. In the Saints playbook as well, I did do a video on that. We're going to motion this guy in. Remember, this is palms. I can't see. It, 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 it zoomed out. Boom. By the time he reacts, it's too late. And, and it's that simple, homies. So what do you guys think of this play right here? It's pretty good. You do also have inside zone that you could audible to. There's not other plays in here besides maybe Saints under against like man press uh, that you can run. Let's just let me talk about that really quick because people are like if they run man defense. What would you run out of this formation? And the truth is I would run Saints under. Let me show you what I mean real quick. I feel like I might just go, go, go over it. Saints under because of the route on the left side. And then what we'll do is we'll... Uh, cover two man. Is there a man press, bro? Uh, maybe cover cover one. Cover one robber press. Okay. Well, that's actually three four. So in a press press situation right here, all you're gonna want to do is block your running back. Okay. Slat Y. Okay. Streak A and drag B. So this would be the look for man man press. And the reason we're doing it this way is because if it's cover one, that means one deep blue has to take priority. He's probably going to take priority to the tight end. In a press, I got the wrong the wrong wide receiver on the left side, though, so I'm not expecting much out of him. Probably want to have Ginn or Thomas in the left side if you're going to run this play. If we need to, we will make that uh, substitution. But you could throw this right over the top. As he takes off, yeah, we're going to need a different wide receiver for this right here because, it remember, ratings, abilities, all that matters in this game so let's go ahead and make our substitutions now because it's very important that you understand when to make substitutions in certain plays you can't just run the play and expect it to work it's not going to work with smith right here so we're going to do is we're going to do here we're going to put smith on this side and then we'll put 
again right here. So now all we did was flip the wide receivers from left to right, okay? And we're gonna run Saints under, and then we'll do cover one, cover one. Let me find another, that's three, four. It's gotta be press because that's when you wanna use it against cover one press right there. Dollar three, two, six. And then remember, A on a streak, B on a drag, Y on a slant. All man beating routes right here, except for the A on a streak. But the X route does very well against the press depending on your wide receiver. So right here, we should get a little bit more leverage. There we go. That's the leverage I'm looking for. And that is the big difference as far as ratings go versus someone. If you're just using a regular wide receiver, it's not gonna work in your favor as opposed to using the right, the right wide receiver on that side. So A on a streak, B on a drag, Y on a slant. If they're pressing you, that guy gets a free release on the press right over the top. Boom, it's that easy. Daddy, you just got to know what you're doing, homies. You just got to practice it. Take it to the lab and, and practice it yourself. So there it is, man. Hope you guys appreciate the video. Make sure you drop a like, comment, subscribe. Love you guys, man. Peace.